Hi, I'm Christy with Thrive Today, and we are doing our Summer Joy series. Today I want to talk to you about some simple ways that we can build our enjoyment of our kids. So what do I mean by that? Well, we can be doing all the right things, hanging out with them, doing things that build joy, but if we are struggling to enjoy being around them, um, maybe they're pushing our buttons, maybe they're driving us a little bit nuts, and if that's the case, it can be really hard to enjoy all the things we're doing to build joy if we're struggling just even wanting to be around them in the first place. I am a mom of four kiddos and I can say there have definitely been times, sometimes even seasons, where one of them um, I've struggled a little bit more with seeing them the way God sees them, with truly enjoying and savoring my time with them. And so if you have experienced that on a big level or a small level, I just want to first of all let you know that you are not alone. And second of all, I want to let you know there is something that you actually can do to bring a shift in that. So if you are wanting to just build enjoyment with one of your kids or maybe multiple, um, I first of all want to invite you into a prayer that I have prayed many times, which is just, God, would you give me eyes for my children to see them the way you see them, to see the gold and the beauty and the awesomeness in them. Just praying that sincere, heartfelt prayer over and over again has made a really big impact in my relationship with my children. The next step is I would encourage you to just sit down for five or 10 minutes and pick one or two memories you have with this child and just close your eyes and savor that memory. Chew on it for a little bit. Jen talked about storytelling um, and this is a great time to almost tell the story back to yourself. What are you and your child doing together? What are you seeing? What are you feeling in your body? And just chew on it and enjoy it and re-experience that special memory with your kiddo. Now, after you've sat in that for a few minutes, now is a great time to just ask the question to Jesus. Jesus, thank you for this child and thank you for this memory. What is it that you want to show me about what you love about this kiddo? And just think of the first things that pop into your mind and you can write them down or you can just listen and just absorb them. Our kids are beautiful. They're amazing. And sometimes we lose sight of the gold because we're trying to train them and we see the flaws and the areas they need to grow in or they trigger us and <laughs> we get frustrated. So this is a chance just to build in some God's sight of seeing them from his eyes. And so I would encourage you, especially if you're really struggling with a child, to do this every day for five or 10 minutes and just begin to build your appreciation of this kiddo and begin to see how that shifts the dynamics of your relationship. Um, what I started to notice is this would enable me to just look in the eyes of my kid and genuinely communicate this love and appreciation for who that they were eye to eye. Now, if you're a little bit uncomfortable with the idea of um, asking Jesus and how do I know it's him and I don't know if I can do that, another simple thing you can do after you've gone through the memory of appreciation with your kiddo is just write down a few things you love about them. Just do your own little gratitude journal, you know, and, and jot those things down. And again, do that every day. As we do this, again, we will see our kids through the eyes of Jesus. Our enjoyment of them will increase. And then as we spend time together, we story tell, we do special outings together, um, our joy is only going to grow even more exponentially.